ready? It's sing-along time. What does love, love, love look like? What does love look like? What does love look like? Oh, what does love, what does love, love, love look like? It looks like joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. It looks like joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Oh, that's the way love rolls. What does love look like? Yeah, what does love, what does love, love, love look like? It looks like joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. It looks like joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Yeah, that's the way love rolls. This is the fruit of the Spirit, yeah. God wants you to get near it, yeah. This is the fruit of the Spirit, yeah. God wants you to get near it, yeah. Oh, what does love look? What does love look like? What does love look like? Oh, what does love, what does love, love, love look My name is Dewan, and just like the song says, what does love look like? That is what we're talking about today. So far, we've learned that love looks like joy. And today, our big idea is love looks like peace and patience. Patience can be really hard. Like when you want a snack and your mom says, you have to wait a little bit for your snack. Oh, you get so mad because you want your snack right now. But you wait patiently for your mom to give you your snack. That's patience. Or when you want to go to the park and you ask your dad, and your dad says, you have to wait until he's finished working. <sighs> you were so excited to go to the park and you're really disappointed. But you can wait for when your dad's finished work. And then you can have fun at the park. That's patience. So today, we're gonna have our story. But before we go to our story time, we have to wait 10 seconds. Do you think you can do it? I think you can. Let's practice patience together. 
Let's put up our hands and we're gonna count to 10, okay? Are you ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. <gasps> you did it! You had patience! Good for you! Okay, it's story time! Story time! Hi friends, my name is Lisa and I'm so excited you guys are with me again to read an awesome story about a very special baby. This one is called Love Looks Like Peace and Patience. A very, very long time ago, there was a woman named Hannah. She was married and really wanted to have children, but year after year, she couldn't have a child. It's made her very sad. Have you ever been very sad? Nobody likes to be very sad. One day, she went to pray at the door to the temple to ask God, please, please, can I have a baby? If I do, I will make sure he serves you forever and ever. But Hannah was praying so quietly that when the priest, Eli, saw her, he thought something was wrong with her. But she told him, nothing is wrong with me, but I am praying because I am sad. I told the Lord about my sadness because I want a baby but haven't been able to have one. Eli said, go in peace. God will give you a child. What? Hannah couldn't believe it. She was so excited and filled with peace that she returned home. And guess what? Can you guess what? Very soon, Hannah became pregnant with a baby. God helped her be patient and full of peace. And when she had the baby, she named him Samuel. Do you know what Samuel means? Samuel means, I asked the Lord for him. And as Samuel grew up, God gave him a very special role to play in his family. Isn't that awesome? I hope you guys enjoyed the story. You are now gonna go and have some more fun. Join me again for more stories. See you later. Activity time. I love that story about Hannah and her baby. It reminded me of another baby that the Israelites God's special family were waiting for. It was baby Jesus. They had to be so patient waiting for baby Jesus. And sometimes we have to be patient too. When we're patient, do you know that we show love to our mom and dad and our teacher, our friends, and sometimes even to people that we don't even know but I know sometimes we don't feel patient, right? Okay, so I'm gonna teach you an activity to do. Let's sit crisscross applesauce, and I want you to put your hand on your tummy, okay? Now, I want you to breathe in through your nose and bring the air all the way down to your tummy and fill up your tummy like a balloon, okay? So you're gonna bring the air in through your nose and then you're gonna breathe out through your mouth like you're blowing bubbles or you're whistling slowly. Got it? So in through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay, let's try it with our eyes closed. You ready? In through your nose out through your mouth. Perfect. Okay, this time when we do it, I'll count to three and we'll say, Jesus, help me to be patient. Are you ready? Hand on your tummy, close your eyes, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. One, Two, three. Jesus, help me to be patient. That was great. 
right? And do you know what? When we take time to be patient and ask Jesus to help us, we can feel his peace. So I have another activity for you. I want you to put your hand out and we're gonna breathe in again right to our tummy. And with your other finger, I want you to trace your fingers and say, Jesus, give me peace. Okay? Are you ready? Breathe in. Breathe out. Jesus, give me peace. Yay! Let's do it again. Breathe in. Breathe out. Jesus, give me peace. Wonderful. Okay, so next time you're not feeling patient, maybe you can try that and talk to Jesus and he can give you peace. Let's go join our friends for Keyverse. Keyverse. Hey guys. Hi friends. Are you guys ready to learn the Keyverse together? Maxim, will you say the Keyverse with our friends? The fruit of the spirit is love joy, and peace. Galatians 5, 22. Okay, now let's add some actions to that. The fruit of the spirit. So you're gonna wiggle down. Is love. You're gonna cross your arms over your chest. Joy. You're gonna open your arms like you're giving a big hug. And peace. You're gonna take a deep breath in and let out a big sigh. Galatians 5, 22. And you're gonna open your hands like you're reading a book. Are you ready? Let's do it from the top. Okay. But this time, you guys get to join in. Okay. The fruit, the fruit of, of the Spirit, spirit is love, joy, and peace. From Galatians 5, verse 22. Wow, that was so good, good you guys. Good job, Maxim, good job, guys. Great job, Annabelle. Now, let's do it one more time. Okay, are you guys ready? Let's do this. The fruit, fruit of the spirit, spirit is love, joy, and peace. <sighs> From Galatians 5, verse 22. That was so, so good. Good job, guys. Great good job, job, Maxim. Great job, Annabelle. Let's see what Duan has for us next. Bye. Prayer time. It's almost time to say goodbye. But before we do, may I pray with you? Today, let's lie down in a very peaceful position and close our eyes. Are you ready? Ah. Do you feel peaceful? Okay, let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for filling us with your joy, your peace and patience and help us, especially when we don't feel patient. Help us to remember that it's loving to be patient, even when we find it hard. We love you, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye-bye. What does love look like? What does love look like? Oh, what does love, what does love?